Hi, my name is Rob Coleman and I'm right now the head of animation at Animal Logic in Sydney, Australia. Most recently we did the Lego Movie, which has been uh, well received all over the world. It was a project that we loved working on. Many of us uh, played with Lego when we were kids and so to be able to take the, the, the notion of creative play in Lego and to bring it into the feature film was a, was a dream project. So I grew up in Canada and uh, the joke is you either play hockey during the winter or you become an animator. So I became an animator. Um, I think my love of animation goes back to when I was a very, very small boy. Uh, I loved the movies that the Disney made, the Warner Brothers cartoons, but I also had the National Film Board of Canada as an inspiration. The, the Film Board had been founded in 1939. I come from a very big country and one of the goals of the Film Board was to make films uh, about different parts of the country. Uh, so if you lived in, the, say, a big city like Toronto, we would see films about the Arctic or about the prairies or about the Maritimes. And there was a whole tradition of doing documentary films. But the smart thing they did was they also created animation for children telling stories from French Canada or Inuit culture. Uh, and as a young person, I was very inspired by these films. Um, reason being is that they were very different from the Warner Brothers or the, or the Disney shorts uh, because the National Film, Film Board used many different techniques in animation. So they used stop motion puppets, hand drawn animation, even scratch on black leader. Uh, and there was a very famous uh, animation director named Norman McLaren who uh, I was very lucky to meet at the end of my s film uh, studies. Uh, I studied at Concordia University in Montreal, Canada uh, as a traditional animator and then moved into computer animation after I graduated. One of the other things that I was very fortunate um, being Canadian was a lot of the high-end computer animation software was actually coming out of Canada. I didn't know the significance of this at the time, but Montreal had an a animation package called Softimage, which was being created in Montreal, and I was one of the very first uh, uh, students to be able to use a pre-beta uh, version of the software. And then I'm from Toronto and Alias Software was being was created in Toronto. Uh, it was a preeminent uh, modeling package and I knew both uh, and had been working in the business for a few years when uh, when Jurassic Park came out in 1993 and I had been reading that a bunch of Canadians had built the dinosaurs in Alias and had been animating them in Saftimage, and I knew both, so I thought, well, I'll apply. And so I ended up being hired as the ninth animator at ILM in 1993, um, and moved into the computer graphics department. There were only about 40 of us there at the time, and it was an amazing uh, time in my career being at ILM for, I think I was there for 12 years. Uh, I then later became the, uh, uh, the animation director on three Star Wars films, so Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith, which had me working very closely with George Lucas for about a decade on Star Wars. Um, and so I was very lucky to be nominated for two Academy Awards during that time. Uh, I then moved on to Lucasfilm Animation to help uh, him set up a studio in Singapore, and we did the Clone Wars TV series. I directed five episodes of that. And then around that time, I decided I really wanted to work on animated features, and that's what took me to Australia. I initially went to work with George Miller to do Happy Feet 2. I was the animation director on that. And then I moved on to do the Lego movie, and that brings us right up to now. One of the pieces of advice I have for students who are interested in this uh, career, there are many different roles on, on any given film. So you've got, for example, you have the art department, you have the people who model the characters, rig the characters, which means they put the bones in to animate it, the animators, you have the people who work in the, the effects, so they're blowing things up or smoke or water, then you have lighting and compositing. The advice is it's always a good idea to have a general understanding of all of those aspects and don't specialize too early. Um, students who specialize while they're still in school restrict the amount of opportunities they may have later on. It's better, I think, to have a general understanding and then once you get into a studio, you may then decide, well, I'm a, I love modeling, I want to do modeling and rigging, let's say, or I want to do model rigging and animating. 
or you may be someone who really loves uh, lighting and compositing, so you work on that part of the, of the process. But we need, once we get on the big films, we need a lot of specialists, but we tend to hire generalists. So that would be the bit of information that I would share with you, uh, and hopefully that you, uh, you, know, you have the success that I had. I've been very, very lucky. A lot of the career uh, that I've had, it's, it's about being at the right place at the right time and um, being able to leverage the skills that I have and to, um, to work in a very collaborative uh, environment. So I wish you all the best.